Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over uh, Town Hall 13 QC Hybrid Attacks, which is a very requested army uh, from all of the comments on the recent videos. Thanks to everybody who has comment, commented, liked, uh, and watched the videos. So, um, shout out to a Big Mike from the Clash of Clans Discord server, from the uh, R Clash of Clans uh, Reddit Discord. Uh, I reached out to him, or I actually asked in the uh, general chat if anybody can help me out because I actually don't have a Tunnel 13 myself, or else I would be doing the attacks on my own. But luckily for me, you know, uh, Big Mike, or aka Little Mikey here, is going to be doing, um, showing off some QC attacks. So I have two attacks that I'm going to show off in this video, two war attacks. It'll be from this base and then the next base I show after this. So uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is looking at these replays, uh, explaining what's happening and uh, pretty much just going over how to do the attack, what you want to look for and uh, that sort of stuff. So yeah, let's let's get, let's just get right into it. I've already, I've already pretty much watched both of the replays, but looking at this base, this base is a pretty, honestly, a pretty decent base. Uh, you have a single, two multis, which is pretty standard, and you have the, uh, you know, of course, scatter shots, because it's a time of 13. Now, the first thing, when I look at this base right away, the number one thing you want to look at uh, is because your main army, oh, I should probably go over the army first. It's uh, five wall breakers, two balloons, five healers, 20 miners, 18 hogs, a siege barracks, you know, obviously the, the heroes, and then the two heal, two rage, two freeze, a poison for the CC, and another rage. So, right when I'm looking at this base right away, right? I see that the CC is pretty lurable, so, uh, you know, especially if you're in a war attack, you can, you know, check all of this stuff. So, looking at the base right away, I see the CC is pretty lurable, so uh, that's the number one thing I'm going to be trying to do. So, in this case, little Mikey is going to go ahead and attack from the left side with his Queen Charge, and he's going to drop some balloons to check for those traps, and then he is actually going to attempt to lure the CC with a Warbreaker. Doesn't work because the Warbreaker gets sniped right away from the Warden, but it's okay. He will uh, then drop a hog to lure the CC. Now, you can use a hog or a wall breaker. Honestly, you could just use a, a hog. That's not really much CC space that you're using to take out the C or lure the CC out. And honestly, it's it, the most important thing is you want to try to get the CC out and take it out with your queen and poison. Otherwise, you know, whatever CC is inside, super minions, super dragons, uh, wizards, anything, they're just going to take out your um, your hogs and your miners. Because your, your hogs and miners, they're not going to attack the CC. They're just going straight for the fences and, and ground building. So it's really important that you try to take out the CC. And if you can't lure the CC like this, you want to try to charge into the into the um into the cc so if you like let's say you couldn't lure the cc here you could charge from this side and then go straight this way and then you know uh set up another funnel and and uh and attack your hogs elsewhere but basically what little mike is going to do he's going to qc this side and then he's going to lure the cc sleeper minions headhunter all that stuff then he's going to go ahead and drop a, a rage spawn his queen right away and poison so that way he can uh, stop super minions from getting a lot of damage on his queen. Now, your queen is probably going to take a bunch of damage. Worst case scenario, if you don't poison right, or if your queen steps into a high fire area, you can rage again, and you can even freeze these. It's okay to sacrifice a freeze, but the most important thing is you want to make sure your queen doesn't get destroyed, okay? So now he's going to go ahead and use his king and his siege barracks uh, to go ahead and create a nice funnel here. And then he's going to be attacking from the top side here. So basically what this attack is, you want to create like a funnel with your queen charge, take out some uh, some buildings you can even like charge into. It, you don't really, I guess, want to charge into here because then you're going to end up sacrificing a lot of spells. You kind of just want to create a funnel, right? Because your hogs and your miners are going to do most of the work. So he creates a funnel with this side with his queen, lures the CC, takes him out, and then he creates a funnel uh, with his uh, siege barracks and king. And then he's going to start his hogs and miners from this side. And then they should go and make their way down directly into the town hall and even if all these hogs and miners are on the top of the town hall you save your ward ability and you should be able to save all your troops right and then you can just use your heal spells as needed here and then you might even get a, a nice uh uh healer switch as well in this case the healers are switching on to the hogs and miners which is very nice and then, you know of course using your heal spells as you need to ward ability to take care of all of uh all of your troops here hogs were inside the siege barracks so the hogs come out here to support the troops RC was also put with the main army of the Hogs and Miners. The King's walking around, still creating a nice little funnel for the Hogs. The Hogs are going to go ahead and just make their way all the way around the base. And honestly, this base is looking pretty destroyed here. Now, after you place your main army, right, you want to make sure you're using your heal spells effectively. If you have a rage, use it effectively, your, heal, your uh, free spells effectively. And uh, the most important thing, too, is Warden. Warden, using your Warden ability... Uh, like try to save your ward ability through the town hall because if you don't, the hogs and miners are just going to end up dying. Same thing with any troop in the game. Uh, to the town hall poison. So try to save your ward ability through the tunnel. 
and then you know pretty much you just use your remaining heal spells and your hero abilities as needed and uh, that's pretty much it the base uh, is pretty looking pretty destroyed at this point uh, and it, it, even if it doesn't look like so <laughs> you gotta remember the miners are still alive and the miners they just they just go underground even though it looks like the queen and the warden and healers are left over the, the miners are still available so miners are honestly a very uh, very good troop very underrated troop in my opinion I'm actually going to release a uh, Town Hall 10 video with Miners, I think, in my next uh, Town Hall 10 video, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, as you can see, this base is uh, pretty destroyed. Doesn't even really need to use his uh, his Queen ability here. So, very nicely done. And also, this is a, it's a pretty decent base, in my opinion, too. Like, attacking this as a Town Hall 13, I probably would have, you know, struggled if I had a Town Hall 13. But, yeah, pretty pretty crushed. So, I'm going to go ahead and look at this attack on number 21 from Snuggy. Nice and snug. So this same thing with this base, right? So looking at the CC, the CC is pretty unlearable because it's in the middle. So Snuggy does a very, very good QC. And instead of using a Siege Barracks, uh, they actually use a Log Launcher. So we can go ahead and see what Snuggy does here. S Snuggy does here. So he's going to uh, QC from the right side with a Log Launcher. And honestly, I kind of like this play. Uh, you can also use the Siege Barracks too, like let's say you're attacking this base with the Siege Barracks, right? You can put the Siege Barracks down here, or you can even use a Flame Flinger with this kind of strat. So you can like Flame Flinger over here, all of this base, or even over here. I mean, there's Mortars here, so maybe not, but I think uh, I think a Log Launcher is a nice, a nice idea here, because you can try to get your Queen uh, inside here, and then, you know, funnel towards the tunnel, which is honestly maybe what he was trying to do. Baby Dragon to funnel for the uh, side buildings. Very nice couple wall breakers more baby dragons to funnel and the last attack we didn't see much funneling but that's because the QC was just pretty straight up you didn't really need to funnel uh, that much and in this case instead of placing the poison he was forced to ability but it's fine because the magic arrow just ended up taking everything out look at this uh, this magic arrow all over here uh, but it's fine though so if you need to you can use your ability the most important thing though like I said is keeping your queen alive so if you have to use your queen ability early on uh, it's if you can try to save it, but if you absolutely need to use it early, I would recommend using it early. Just don't let your queen die, or else it's going to make the attack very awkward. So, he's slowly making his queen through the base, and he's getting insane value. He's already taken out two expos. He's already taken out the CC. He's going to take out the defensive queen, or defensive king, sorry. And uh, the queen is going to go ahead and roll through here and take out the eagle artillery and two more expos and the defensive queen. This is an insane queen charge value. Like, this is... This is like OP Valley right here. And the only thing really left that's stopping this attack now is just two scatters in the Town Hall and this multi. But the Queen's going to be able to get everything, and he's just making his uh, his Rage Spell super useful here. Now, this is a different army than uh, than what um was used in the last draft. I forgot to uh, read it out, but, you know, we can always go back and replay and show it again. But, yeah, he's gonna now he's going to go ahead and place his uh, Hongs and Miners over here and his King over here. So, I'm assuming he wants to uh, funnel his... His uh, hogs and miners through the town hall. That way he can ward ability. And he also wants to make sure that his queen. Because if you wait too long. Your queen's going to go end up going over here. And then going over here. And then you know she's just going to go and do uh, not so nice things. Being being the casual queen that she is. You know typical queen uh, activity. So you know you can you can place your hogs and miners. And help also fawn your queen. Uh, towards where you want it to go. And, and, and also too. Like in the last attack. You might even get a healer switch. Which is also very nice. In this case I don't think there was a healer switch. Because I did go over the replay. But either way though. You know, using your heal spells as you need to after you set up a very nice funnel. Like, look at this OP funnel. Like, he funneled his queen, like, here and here. Queen went all the way through here, took out everything here, which is insane QC value. And now he can just focus the rest of the base with his hogs and miners. And this base is just, I mean, I'm not even going to lie, it's its crushed. I mean, his king is tanking for the scatter shot here. The only thing that's stopping him at this point is the town hall on this. And that's a single target in front of which is going to do nothing. He can heal. After the town hall goes down, he's going to go ahead and uh, warden ability. Like, the hogs are taking no damage, the miners are taking zero damage. King is still alive here. And th this is looking very crushed. And, oh, th I, I really like this addition with the vamp stash, too. This is a very nice, uh, interesting attack. My alarm going off for my stream timer. It's okay, though. Because <laughs> I'm actually going to be going live after this. But, yeah, as you can see, the, as long as you keep your hogs and miners alive, with a very nice QC and use of the log launcher to funnel his queen inside, his queen was able to get insane value. So this base is, is pretty crushed um, <laughs> just because of his insane QC value and then his hogs just being able to make their way through the base like that. So 
we can go ahead or actually it showed the army there <laughs> uh, but he used ended up using an archer six wall breakers two balloons four wizards five healers two baby dragons and then you know 16 miners 15 hogs and then a log launcher and then these are his uh I should have shown the hero equipment in the last attack, but didn't even need to use uh, the RC as well, which is I just noticed. So if you get insane QC value, you won't even have to use your RC as, as shown here, which is honestly kind of impressive in my opinion, because this is like, I don't know, I think this might be even be a maxed, uh, besides the heroes, this might even be a max 13, no? Or pretty close to it. So that's, uh, that's pretty nice, I mean. But yeah, just looking at the base when you're queen charging, you want to see where you can get the most value with your QC. Uh, I should probably upload a QC guide. QC is a very, uh, very uh, complicated strat. Um, takes much practice. You use it in, in, in almost every every variation. QC Lalo, QC Super Bowlers, QC Titan, QC uh, Hybrid, QC Super Dragons. QCs can be used with any army composition. So, uh, but yeah, th like I said, this is a very, very, very good, uh, good strat, you know? both times both funneling their way through the base so in this case uh you really didn't need to use any funnel troops so pretty much just sent the queen here and then uh you know like i said funnel with the super uh with the siege barracks and then you know send your hogs uh through keeping in mind of the cc and uh yeah that's uh that's pretty much it uh, i have a bunch of other replays that i am going to be uh recording shout out to big mike again uh so stay tuned for a uh part two video of showing off more uh, QC hybrid attacks at tunnel 13. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this this strat is pretty OP in my opinion. Probably the best strategy you can use at tunnel 13 besides uh, QC Lalo. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe for future videos, leave a comment about what I should do next, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.